is room number 220. We can use the seminar room, which looks like a, a, a small conference room. We can use all of this open area that wraps around. There are two tables on the back side here. They're labeled make space. They have uh, some student work up. And so I ask that you respect that student work. It's graduate student work. They're working very diligently trying to get some projects done. Um, but there are a couple of the make spaces that are available. So check with me if you want. These are the ones that have uh, movable gray partitions just, just behind this. <laughs> nice. I have skills. <laughs> um, the, um, let me see what else. Uh, we can use this facility right here that has these uh, machines. Two of the machines have our, our dual boot windows. Um, we can use any of the computers in the computer laboratory number 220. We call that one the Nexus. Uh, the one right behind us that I just said has the couple of dual boots. Um, uh, that one's called Leo Block. We're standing in the hypercube. Uh, out there we call it the cloud. Um, the, the area with the high top <coughs> tables is called the lab. Uh, there's a few people have already set up there. Um, there is a, a, a 3D printer on one of the tables in the lab, and it's a little bit twitchy. So I'm going to ask you to uh, keep at least arm's length from it so that, so that we know that it, it didn't get messed up on our watch. Okay? But the other tables that are in the lab, you're free to use. The tables are on wheels. They can be moved. The chairs are on wheels, they can be moved. Uh, we are actually, we had said that we were going to be at 85 people capacity. We're actually at about 105, maybe as much as 110. Uh, so I had to get more chairs. Last year when I counted, we had actually only 85 chairs. That's why I said, let's just cap it at 85. Uh, I had somebody from uh, the, our campus safety come in and say, how many can I actually have here? He said, if no chairs, 200. With chairs, less. So I'm, 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 I'm actually, So uh, we're, we're at less. <laughs> All right, so those are the facilities that you can use. Uh, there is a printmaking facility. The doors are locked. There may be students or a teacher coming in during the weekend, but we, we're not allowed to go in there. I, we, we didn't ask for any, any permission to use that. There is a locked lab. Um, on that side, that uh, also will just remain locked. Um, I'm trying to think. So, what you see, what is out as you walk around this floor, you can use. Uh, if you get tired tomorrow, there's a nice, there's an art gallery on the ground, not the ground floor, but the first floor. We 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 have the British system in this building, so what is the ground floor is zero. And then there's the first floor, and we are on the second floor, technically speaking. Um, and you're welcome to go and visit that gallery. Um, I have asked our facilities people to make an extra pass each day through the building to try and keep us tidy. Uh, but your assistance in that would be greatly appreciated. Uh, there are classes that need to be held Monday morning. So we want to look at this as though we're doing no trace camping. On Sunday evening, I'm trying to get us out of here by 5 or at least finish with our presentations by five so that we can do cleanup and you guys still have some energy to get home safely. That's important to me, that you get home safely. Um, so those, those are, those are the, in addition to the, you know, keeping the drinks off and food off of the carpeted areas, those are, those are pretty much the ground rules. No traces, right? So when you leave, it looks like you found it. Um, Sunday late afternoon, there might be some panicked graduate students who come in. Uh, they have presentations bright and early on Monday morning, and they will probably want to make use of the hypercube facility. But we should be done by the time they come in. Um, or other questions? So I'm trying to think if there are any other logistical questions that you might have. With 100 people, I don't feel that it would be constructive to do uh, a pitch process that involves every single person pitching to everyone else. Uh, because we would probably be at it until past midnight. Uh, so I'm going to uh, try to experiment and do uh, an experiment in organic chemistry. <laughs> I want to see if there will be uh, self-organization. Um, if there's somebody who doesn't have a group, please let yourself be known. Don't be shy. You don't have a group. All right. Eve doesn't have a group. 
Tommy, I thought you were bringing a posse. They not coming? All right. Tommy's gifted, a gifted program right here. Um, all right, so Chris come over here. Doesn't have, all right, so <coughs> the spirit of the event was to be open to working with strangers. Many have come with groups preformed because it's comfortable. But let's, let, as we're doing the social like socializing exercise, this is part of it. It's like don't don't be a stranger. Get to know each other. Get to know what you're capable of. What you might be able to offer to a group. Um, Ryan Nickel is an audio guy extraordinaire, and he is offering to freelance to groups. Uh, what what specific kinds of audio do you feel like you might? Sure, I can. I can do anything you want. Okay. I can do music and sound effects. Um, I can come around to each group when you guys are settled and come talk to you. And I got order sheets. So <laughs> 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 So we have we have a second uh, offer from uh, on freelance audio from Nate Madsen, Madsen right? Yeah, thank you. Um, so uh, on similar terms, so he will make himself available to groups uh, and uh, an individual consulting basis. So uh, bulk of music. <laughs> <laughs> Artists who don't have groups. Are there artists who don't have groups? Are there groups made only of artists? <laughs> Are there groups made only of game designers? Because I often have them. All right, so uh, artists, if you find yourself without, uh, a, without, um, without something to do to benefit the group that you're working with, please feel free to offer yourself to other groups to see if, if that was the other thing that it's leading me to. This is not a competition. I'm not going to award a best of show here. This is a collaborative exercise on, on several levels. All right, so each group is a small collaboration. We are all collaborating together to make this a good experience for each other and ourselves. And then we're all also collaborating at the global level with everybody else who's making games right now. And so I, I don't want you to have to feel protective because you might lose out. Right? So if, you, if somebody needs help, Ask, if you are asked, see if you can offer help. Uh, because we're trying to grow the whole community. We're trying to strengthen the whole game-making community here in Colorado. And that's why we do it this way. All right? Um, anything else? Oh, Jet, you have something to say? Yeah, so, well first, if we didn't all cheer for Raphael, <laughs> So don't let this be your only IGA event. Make sure you come out and, and check us out once a month. And then we have special events like the picnic every year, Christmas event, all that. And you couldn't have said it better. It does everything. And it's it's really about coming together and learning and showing other people what you can do and meeting them. Because you can make your own little group and go code in someone's garage anywhere, anytime, or a library, whatever you want to do. This is about getting together and sharing and building games real quick. And uh, it's going to be quick and it's going to be fast. And I'm really excited to be here again this year. The official Global Game Jam play party for the Colorado chapter is now posted. If you just Google Colorado video games, we're the number one hit. And it's going to be at the Microsoft store again this year. If we grow out of that space, we have a backup space as well. But so far, we have that booked. And it's going to be on uh, the Tuesday. Normally, we meet on Monday of each month. This is the following day. It's going to be on the Tuesday. So hopefully, a lot of you can make it. If you can't, you'll be able to look at stuff online. And what that is, is whatever you guys make, you can show it off. And they've got a big custom 110 inch screen there. And it's just a lot of fun. Um, so show off whatever you've made. We also show it off at the end of the 
We do, uh, so on, we will actually have less than 48 hours. We have more like 40. Uh, on Sunday, by 3 p.m., we need to have uploaded all of the games in their current state, playable or not. Um, so that at 3 p.m., we will start our presentations. Uh, we'll have to see how many groups we end up with, but it, the presentations should not exceed 10 minutes each. So you're going to have uh, a real fast, uh, fast-paced presentation. And we're going to try to cycle them through. We'll get to see them on this luscious, large screen uh, in as high a depth as you, as you can get. Um, this is a real bad boy projector, and we can have all of the windows open, and we will have actually glorious color on the screen. Uh, so, uh, and we've got a really decent audio setup here. So if you're, if you're working on sweet audio, you can probably experience it too. Um, so yeah, uh, so that, so hopefully we'll be until those two hours, we can get through those presentations. Now, I've just received a, a wonderful suggestion that maybe after you have managed to settle in and uh, organize yourselves into groups, the groups present to, each, to us and to each other as a pitch this evening to sort of work through it and workshop the idea of what you're trying to do. So let's let's try that. Um, I have a surprise. In an hour, we should be receiving pizza. Yeah. This is again thanks to the, the computer science department who has uh, collaborated with uh, Saza Pizza, which is a small boutique pizzeria just south of campus. <laughs> Uh, and they should be uh, arriving um, at, at uh, 7, maybe a little bit before. So uh, so I had said that tonight dinner was on your own. They might, I don't know, we ordered enough for what we think 85, so I don't know. Uh, <laughs> so we might need to uh, fill in some gaps afterwards with uh, some of the wonderful ramen that, that, that we can provide. <laughs> um, but so let's, Let's work on, uh, for the next, until the pizza arrives, let's work on some, some sort of organic group formation and then think about doing the, the collaborative uh, group pitching after we've eaten the pizza. All right? Are we good for that? Uh, what's the theme? Oh, I'm sorry, yes, you just arrived. The theme is a heartbeat. heartbeat. It's an audio, we were given it, to, given it as, a, as an audio sample. And I have the sample available if you wish to use it in your game, but it's the conceptual idea of, of, of a human heartbeat. All right? Some more <laughs> 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 